Welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Little Italy. This one is from Audrey Saunders from the Pegu Club in New York City and it's also featured in the Three Ingredient Cocktail Book by Robert Simonson. I'll leave a link to the book in the description below. It's a very good book. I've done quite a few cocktails from it recently. And this one is essentially a, a riff on a Manhattan. So it's a, an Amaro version, uh, simply adding a little bit of China uh, to add some bitterness uh, and that sort of um, counteracts the sweetness from the sweet vermouth. Pretty keen to try it. I've actually already tried it a couple of times because uh, I didn't hit record on the microphone. So that was a bit of a lie, but anyways. Uh, this, this cocktail is, uh, well the original recipe in this book calls for Rittenhouse Rye, which is 100 proof, so 50%, this is only 46, uh, but this has got nice spice to it. Manhattan Rye uh, will work really well in this cocktail. So start by measuring 60 ml or two ounces of your chosen rye whiskey, and then follow it with your sweet vermouth. And before I get accosted for using the martini, this recipe does actually call for it. So 22.5 mil or three quarter ounce. And lastly, the bitter component, which is the china, 15 mil or half an ounce. So add that straight into the mixing glass, fill it with ice and give it a stir for about 30 seconds. So make sure you've set your, your coupe glass aside, get it nice and cold, keep it in the fridge, whatever you prefer. So I've also put together a bit of a bar checklist. Uh, I think you guys will probably find it useful. I'll link to that up here as well as in the description below. Just some bar basics, like what kind of equipment you might need, a bit of a list of like the bottles and everything. So if you are one of the people that go and download that file and you find it useful, let me know in the comments below. If you don't find it useful, then just let me know and provide feedback on how it could be improved. Then straight into your chilled coupe glass. And garnish with a cherry. So they have the little Italy. Cheers. You get that chino on the nose, you can you can tell it's gonna have that little bit of bitterness to it. And yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a lot less sweet than a, a classic Manhattan. Uh, the chino really comes through. Not not overly bitter, uh, it's just a, a slight twist on a classic. Personally, uh, I probably have more of a sweet tooth. I'm only really in the last couple of years getting more into Amaro's and bitter flavors. So I do appreciate it, I do like it, but maybe I'd probably prefer the classic version. I'll have to try it side by side. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.